Hey guys, how's it going today? I hope all you YouTubers are having a good day. Um, today we're going to be making some char cloth. So the items that you will be needing is either a pocket rocket stove, you can use your barbecue, you can use hot coals, but I'm going to be using my MSR pocket rocket stove today. You will need a tin, any kind of tin actually. Um, today I'm going to be trying this. Um, butter cookie tin here Danish style cookies um, you will need a nail or a hammer but today I'm going to be using the awl on the back of my Swiss Army knife right here I'll be using the awl you will also need um, either cotton from a t-shirt such as a white t-shirt like this one right here Um, so let's walk you through the process. So we got our tin out right here today. And we're going to be puncturing a round hole through it. So we got our hole punctured right there through our cookie tin. Like I said, you can use a nail or whatever you want inside the tin it's a perfectly brand new tin you can reuse the tin over and over today i just happen to be trying it out with the cookie tin then the next step is you want to get your cotton here guys cotton from 100 percent cotton from a t-shirt cut this stuff into about I would say, you know, anywhere from two to three inches. So, mine are going to be about, you know, three inches or so. So, I got, I got two right here. What you want to do is lay these kind of down flat any old way. Maybe cut it one more time. You can do this with scissors or with a knife, it doesn't matter. I just had a knife with me and I want to run in the house and get some scissors. Let's lay these down a little flatter since this is a cotton t-shirt and they don't lay flat like blue jeans would lay completely flat because it's a heavier material. So that's what it's going to look like. You're going to put like, you know, anywhere from like seven to eight pieces up to ten pieces in here. Put your lid on. So I got my MSR pocket rocket stove. We want to set this on a low to medium flame when processing our chair cloth. have that started and we're gonna have to turn that down way down so we got kind of a low flame as you can see my hands only two inches above it that's basically how high you want your flame you don't want your flame any higher than that same thing if you were to doing this on a barbecue with coals, it's a little bit different. So you see the smoke coming out of that hole right now. What it's doing is burning that cotton t-shirt. And then after it quits smoking here, you're going to want to let this cool down and pull this tin off. Um, I recommend using gloves or tongs after pulling this off because it's going to be pretty much super hot. So after this is completely starved of the oxygen, you want to pull this tin off. You want to use your gloves or a pair of tongs from your barbecue, say. So the best thing to have is like, um, an SE steel flint that's what I'm using is this SE steel flint okay 
and you can use your turret rock to start your turret cloth on fire with. Now you see the smokes is barely coming out now so it's it's almost just about time to turn this off. Okay, I got it going. Can you see that on camera? Let's turn it this way. See it burning, guys? nice red coal if you can see that I don't know if you can but that's how your truck cloth gonna work guys so it's lit right now as you can see and then you would drop that into your tinder bundle so that's how that's gonna work guys um it's pretty simple um, what I'm gonna be doing right now is I got a pair of jeans I cut up and I'm gonna be um, making some char cloth out of my jeans right now now that thing is still going down on the ground I'll show you right now that it's still whoa that it's still going it's red hot guys I don't know if I can pick this one up without a rock but we'll see see as you can see nice and red and hot there it goes so I want to thank you for watching till next time have a good afternoon guns for fun CA Jan and Justin peace out guys